Hello, how's it going? Tenro here, and welcome back to another 1.20 survival episode. Today we're going to be kicking things off with a new underground storage system utilizing a bunch of different automatic item sorters. I'm thinking about putting this thing a decent little ways underground somewhere in this general area, and that way I can have things like the iron farm, the pumpkin melon farm, the gunpowder, the paper, all that good stuff and everything that we build in the future just kind of funneling all the way down into that system automatically for us. To do this, I'm going to have to dig a ginormous hole underground to have all this stuff set up in, and I don't really feel like doing that without haste too, which means we have to kill a wither to get a beacon. I'm super terrified at the thought of that, but I'm probably going to go use the portal in the end to make it a little bit more safe for me to do so. And then we'll be able to go build a beacon somewhere out in this area and get ourselves a nice big storage area dug out. Real quick before that though, I want to head back over to our stronghold over there because a few episodes ago, I got a comment from Steam saying that I missed one of the chests in the library. So now I'd like to go see if maybe we can find ourselves a new little piece of armor trim. Oh, that was so much easier of a journey than if I had run all the way over here. I love flying. At some point soon, I'm gonna have to go back through to the end and find some more end cities. That way I have a couple of spare elytras and some more shulkers. I think the library was somewhere out over here. Yeah, there we go. I looked back at the video and it was up here on the second floor. I think it was right around. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Thank you, Steam. Very much appreciated. Also got a couple books, Bane of Arthropods, and then some power and loyalty. Interesting. I think I'll just take the paper. And you know, while I'm down here, now that I have a silk touch axe, may as well take all these bookcases as well. Well, one can never have too many books. Ooh, what's that? Looks like we have another library over there. That's kind of crazy. Beautiful. That should hold us over for a little while. Oh, and I should have brought some shears. I could have taken some of these cobwebs. Oh well, I'll come back later. Let's go see what this other library has in store. Ooh, another chest. A diamond! Thank you! Okay, library number two. Here's the chest up here. Wow, a lot of paper. Okay. I'll take those books as well. Unbreaking and sharpness. Efficiency four. Nice. An empty map. I like maps. And more eye armor trim. Lovely. Let's go find the upstairs and see if we can find another one. Ah, yep. Right there up in the corner we have... Yeah, there we go. Lovely. A whole lot more paper. Some more books. Unbreaking three smite. That's pretty cool. The only reason I'm not taking the enchanted books is because I don't have an immediate purpose for them and I have all my librarians back at the base that I can use whenever I need. All right, let's get back out of here. Actually, I think if I jump into the end portal right here and make my way up to the center again, I should be able to get a little bit of a shortcut back home. Also, this is the place that I'm going to be spawning the wither later on, right underneath this portal. Should trap it and let me kill it with relative ease, but for now, let's go see if we can get a shortcut back home. Oh yeah, perfect. Ah, oh, what a good night. Okay, now we can throw all these things in here and you can see why I need to have some kind of a better storage system going on. I'm going to go ahead and leave these ideas, these pieces of papers here in that chest, and we'll jump back into the nether, go to our fortress, and see if we can't get some wither skeleton skulls. Oh, and that's actually a perfect opportunity for me to show you where I moved all that lava from from last episode. Ta-da! I didn't have enough to go all the way across here, so I just have that left side. But now we have all the lava that we need down here safely by the portal. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want gold. I want gold. Ah! Ow! Uh, I think he went through the portal. Does that mean he's gonna be zombified on the other end? Ow! Nope. Just still violent. Oh, that was scary. Let's go get a golden helmet. I'm gonna go ahead and put on that golden helmet and then replace the elytra with a chest plate that way I have a little more protection. If you look down at my armor values right here, when I switch and put on the elytra, it loses quite a bit of protection. And since it's the nether, let's be a little bit safer. Okay, take two. Hmm, maybe I'll actually put the elytra on real quick, on and off here and there, just to get places a little bit easier like this. Hello, dude. You're not mad at me anymore. Woohoo! We're like friends. And now I just continue following my path of torches, and we should find that fortress. There it is. Okay, let's go ahead and suit back up before we go back inside. And with our looting three sword, hopefully this won't take too long. Oh, here's our first couple wither skeletons. No head there. No head there. The search continues. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. Be nice to me. How rude. You don't do that again. <gasps> I got one. I only killed maybe five to get that. That's amazing. Okay, two more, two more. There's number two. Well, my golden helmet just broke, so if any other piglin come around, uh, they're not gonna be the fondest of me. <gasps> yes, that was my third one. It looks like it only took a couple wither skeletons to get those three skulls. And while I'm here, may as well go ahead and stock up on a little bit of the soul sand and soul soil. I just need to go put everything away real quick and then we can head back to the end to spawn in the wither. And while we're up here, let's go ahead and grab a couple of shulker shells to make two shulker boxes. Because if we head over to our cow farm over here, I think there was a chicken that got stuck somewhere and it laid a whole bunch of eggs. Yeah, there it is. 
And there's all the eggs. If I take a few of these eggs over to the wither fight, I should be able to have a whole bunch of wither roses spawn in. Holy eggs, that's a lot of eggs. All right, let's go. I made a video a couple of years ago about how to take on the wither in this kind of easy way using that end portal. And the only thing we should need is just four pieces of obsidian. So let's go back to the stronghold and jump into the end. Oh, ain't no time like the present. All right, let's hop on down. Now, if that same method still works, this is gonna be a super easy fight and I should not take even a half a heart of damage. That being said, I'm still scared out of my mind. First thing we gotta do is dig out a little room underneath the portal, three blocks tall, just like that. Then in the very, very center of the room, we'll place a block of obsidian, come back one, place another, and on each side of that, another block of obsidian. We'll grab our soul sand and just copy that same pattern. Oh boy, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Now real quick before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these eggs and make a whole bunch of little chickens. Go, chickens, go! Okay, I just finished laying all of the eggs, only now to realize that I don't think this is gonna work at all because the whole point of doing the wither right here is that it cannot damage you at all because its head gets stuck up in this little bedrock area. So, if it can't do damage to me, then it probably cannot do damage to any of these chickens. Well, only one way to find out. Oh gosh, there it is, okay. All right, step back. Get ready for that initial explosion. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, that actually hurt me a little bit. Oh, it did hurt them, but not nearly enough to do anything. Oh, it's just chicken chaos. Okay, uh, well, I gotta get in here. So let's go ahead and start smacking it away. Sorry, little chickens. Oh, goodness. Oh, I did get, I got one with the rose. Okay, I'm just gonna keep smacking this guy. So far, I'm not taking any damage at all. This is pretty great. Oh, and I forgot to actually put on my real armor. Ha, ah, whoops. Okay, come on, we're almost there. This is actually nothing. This is so easy. Oh, this is great. Oh, come on, almost there. We can do it. And first wither of the world completed. Look at that, we got another star. Only one wither rose, that's a little bit sad, but that's okay. Now we just have an end full of chickens. Wait a minute, if I go into the portal, then I end up at my last spawn point. So if the chickens go into portal, do they end up at world spawn? Am I just littering the world spawn with chickens? Eh, maybe one day I'll find out. For now, let's go back home and let's make ourselves our very first beacon. Okay, here we go. Let's get this done. We've got our obsidian, we've got our glass, and last but not least, our nether star. Look at that. I love it. And we should have plenty of iron to go ahead and craft the actual beacon pyramid as well. Let's do it right around, how about right here? This is the very first time I've ever crafted a full-on beacon in single player. I'm super excited. I'm also very glad that I made this iron farm early on because that was two full stacks of iron and I'm still not quite there. Here we go, this is it. This is the moment I have been waiting for. Yes, look at that. We brought home the beacon and we are the beaconator. Let's get that haste to put in our iron and, and, and there it is. We got it. Let's see if we should just have, oh yes. This, this is what we needed. This is marvelous. Okay, I'm just making a mess. I need to stop this. I'll probably put the entrance to this storage system somewhere right about over here. But first, I've got to go organize all this stuff and then dig a giant hole underneath the ground. So let's break into a giant digging time lapse. Boy, I've been digging for so long now. I've actually gotten both of these pickaxes almost down to zero twice. I've gotten almost all of these chests all the way filled to the brim with just a ton of different random blocks. And I've made pretty good progress. I still have a good little ways to go. You see, this is the end right over there. I just need to get all this area cleared out. A small portion of this whole area will actually be able to be- Oh, hello. 
<laughs> Where'd you come from? I've been noticing a bunch of cats lately. I think my little iron farm is right around here somewhere. Anyway, what I was gonna say is that only a small section of this area will actually be able to be walked through. The rest of it's all gonna be reserved for the actual functional elements, like the item sorters, the water paths, all that good stuff. For now, I need to go ahead and repair both of these diamond pickaxes so that they don't break on me, and I also need to move the beacon from the top down below because I'm kind of hitting the edge of the beacon's range. I'm also gonna take a quick minute and show you where this whole thing is actually positioned. We're kind of centered underneath the base right now you can see we have our little pumpkin melon farm over there the big old creeper farm and our house is right up behind us over here and if we take a nice little aerial shot of that oh we're flying right through all the rain that's lovely it's right in the middle right here, so our whole area is going way past all this space right here. Anywho, trying to stay focused, we're going to go ahead and repair these two pickaxes and get that hole finished up. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and jump back to the cave. You guys have seen me dig enough, so I'm going to go ahead and cut to whenever that's done, and I will see you there. Here we go. I've just finished digging out this entire area, and I used up both my picks yet again. I still need to gather a bunch of materials for this whole thing. For example, over 3,000 chests. Yeah, that's nearly 55 stacks of chests. Absolutely insane. Then once we have everything, I can go ahead and build and organize all of the auto sorters, but we're going to be doing that in the next episode. There's still a whole lot of this stuff to do here, so we're going to be finishing it off then. I really hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button down below. It helps out a ton and subscribe if you're not already. Oh look, we have a little friend up there. Hello friend. Thanks again so much for watching. I will see you next time.